even get to go Hey guys, Zazo here. Welcome to my channel and we are taking a look at some Town Hall 9 raids today inside Savage 8.9. And I finished up a little bit early today so I figured I better get a video out there. Uh, I like to do them way more often and sometimes I do try to do them more often but then just some nights I'm just so tired. Or when I come home and it's 6 o'clock or so, 7 o'clock. By the time I actually get settled down, maybe have supper, get checking my games, see what's going on. It's already close to 9 o'clock. And once you get in the groove, it's 10 o'clock. Then I'm so tired. I, I usually end up going to bed. So I do try to get them out there. And going with the queen walk, uh, this is a pretty good strat for the Town Hall 9s, uh, definitely a better strat for taking on the 2 stars on the 11s as opposed to the Baby Loon strat I like to use, which is extremely safe for getting that uh, 1 star for sure. And how is everybody doing out there getting that uh, golden tree and those fireworks? I haven't gotten a single one on Zazo, Zazo 2, or Zazo 3. Uh, I did decide to clear off a few obstacles. Really, why am I keeping 6, 7, 8, 10 trees from the same year? Um, why not just get rid of a couple of them? As long as you have one, that's all you need to show that you had the tree. You don't have to have 8 to 10 of the things. So I think I might narrow down a few of my obstacles on my bases. Hopefully that's my problem. I've just got too much stuff from all the years past. So with all the Halloween and all the Christmas specials, uh, I got a lot on some of the bases. However, I never did think that that actually affected uh, the outcome. I know you can only get a certain number of obstacles to spawn. Uh, 40 to 44, I'm not exactly sure, some people say. Uh, those are the 2x2 two two squares. The 3x3 three three squares are like 20 or something like that you can get. Uh, we did test this once a long time ago in Minimax, but that was with just what was growing. Uh, none of us actually tested to see if we kept other items, would we stop spawning items at the same number or did they just not count at all for those so they may actually count for the overall spawns i didn't think they did so that's that's what i'm trying anyway i've i've knocked out a few of them on on a couple making a few spots so hopefully uh i at least grab one firework and one golden tree on each account because i'll be kind of choked if i didn't even get one other people are at like 10 on the first week And I'm going to go through my YouTube channel. Uh, I did discover the other day while I was trying to figure out how to control uh, what ads go up on. Man, could I use some YouTube help. I tell you out there, if there's anybody that's like, uh, you know, like a YouTube general <laughs> that wants to uh, give me some advice or can help point me in the right directions on how to do certain things, uh, I was trying to figure out how to better control my ads so that they're more suitable to who my viewing audience is, which is that age limit between 12 to 30 and mostly male. Uh, there are older, there are younger, there are females. Uh, however, that is kind of the main group. So I'm not quite sure how the ads fully work, but I just know that while doing some research, I did come across that you should try and control what's up there. So I got to figure out how to do that. And while I was in there trying to figure out how to do that, I discovered uh, what else I've been looking for for a long time, which is how to put my videos into categories. Uh, I'd like to have my Town Hall 7 videos in my Town Hall 7 videos. I'd like to have the 9 videos up for people. Uh, I'd like to have everything just set up so that people can go on and they can find exactly what they need. 
Uh, I haven't been able to do that mostly because I do everything with my phone. Uh, I'm not very keen on the computer, so I don't go on it very much. And of course, you can't do quite as many things uh, with your phone on YouTube as you can once you get into your computer. So hopefully, uh, that is what I'm going to do. And almost, almost got to that town hall there on that one. And this base is one of those tricky bases. It's one of the ones where you think, oh, easy, I'm going to grab the two stars. But it's set up so that it's going to waste your time. Uh, you're better off to come from the top down as opposed from the bottom up. You're going to trigger an awful lot of uh, traps, Teslas, and CC if you come from the bottom first. So you're better off to try and get the 50% on a base like this. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, you guys might try a little bit different of course it depends on the cups too right but nobody wants to lose so it's always safest to go with that 50 as opposed to trying to go for the two stars that'll get you into some trouble uh i found a dead town hall 10 a couple days ago or dead town hall 11 on my uh town hall 9 and i attacked it and i gotta tell you <laughs> i barely 50 percented that base all because i got greedy and i tried to come from the two star angle so watch how you take in those bases And hopefully I will get started on organizing my YouTube videos later on tonight. Um, man, do I got a lot of videos to go through. There's like 300 videos to try and categorize. So a lot of them I can figure out just by the titles what I had in them. So that'll be pretty easy. Uh, we'll get them set up into the Town Hall 7 groups, the Town Hall 8 groups, uh, the Town Hall 9 groups. I don't have very much... 10s and 11 stuff that'd be mostly anything i i showed maybe from inside mini max would cover in that part so we'll see how it goes and some of you have seen my town hall 11 slipping out of uh mini max savage into another savage clan and you're wondering what's up with the new savage clan uh nothing uh, that is one of my clan co-members, uh, his clan, that's Sam Savage Damage, or Damage with an E, however that's spelled. And uh, we're just trying to figure out a good war system, something that's going to be beneficial for us to do inside Minimax. Uh, basically got to start all over from the start again. I'm so used to having either all Minimax wars or having town hall specific wars that I've actually lost the ability to figure out how to uh, get a balanced war that, you know, is somewhat winnable. Um, so, so that's what we're doing over there. I keep hopping over there and we start a war. We've had a couple war now, uh, a couple wars now, and uh, it's been tie tie. So at least we're figuring out how to tie easily enough. And I can't have my Zezo. Uh, three base in there. So we're figuring out that. Um, over inside Savage at the Town Hall 8 clan, we've been doing just Town Hall 8 wars, which for the most part should lock in either wins, draws, or of course you'll get that clan that puts the one big base up top, which nothing you can do. It's going to be a tough loss. So it's a, it's a fine line there too, whether to put something in a little heavier and then you've got to hope that you don't match that every time or that if you do match that, you're going to be able to take it. Uh, so there is a little bit to think about when you're thinking uh, how to properly set up your wars uh, to be a balance that you can live with. Um, you're probably not going to win them all. So it's going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to figure it out though. I'm going to get them back. We're going to have Minimax back up and doing wars here at some point. Uh, just took a few too many losses in a row. It still is a great war log. It still has a 430 wins, 34 losses now or something, and 13 ties, something like that. Uh, so it's not terrible yet, but we did have four losses in a row, which we've never even had two losses in a row over the years. So something definitely wasn't quite right. Our top guys weren't doing what they were supposed to. So had to change things up, pull everybody out of there for now. Uh, just trying to figure something out. That should answer every other question. And a happy birthday to Brock, by the way. Happy birthday, Brock. 
Wonder if he actually watched this video and listened to the end. You never know. You never know. And that's it for me. I will see you guys in the chat. I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Peace.